The machine itself is the same machine that we had before, but it's the additional diagnostics that they want to put on the machine. I'm Damien Lockley, I'm a consultant designer here at Tokamak Energy. Been working for three years now on ST40. How have things changed? The assembly's got more complicated as we've fitted more equipment on the outside. This is the very fast camera and that's its range of movement so it can swing side to side. I think more diagnostics is because the temperature measurement is so critical. So they want different ways to measure the temperature than we had before. And the more varied ways of measuring the temperature, the more concise that measurement can be. This diagnostic work is generally a case of finding a port that's suitable for the equipment that needs to go in there. As some cameras have to be on the mid-plane, others are okay on a plane that's somewhere else, looking at an angle at the plasma. And it's generally a case of having to find room for things. So two big pieces of equipment can't go next to each other generally. So we have to play around with which port each piece of equipment goes on to get it to fit in. The current build programme that we're doing now, we're having to move everything around, moving things around on the ports, simply because of the layout of the building is different to where we were before. This is solid edge, it's very easy to use. I came here not knowing how to use it, having used a different software for decades before and picked it up within two weeks, I think, I was producing working drawings. I think the essential part of this software is being able to work with big assemblies like this and see the overall picture. Because here we're looking at the outside of the vacuum chamber. We often have to do things right inside the vacuum chamber, small assemblies, but we can always keep in view the big picture. And we've even got a model of the whole building with the machine in place the power supplies, the buzz bars that connect the two, cryo lines and all those things, they're all modelled. And it's essential to do that, otherwise you get in a mess when it comes to assembly. The great thing about working here is, for the first time as a designer, I've been working on designs right from initial concept, space envelope, through to detail design, speaking to manufacturers, getting the prices in, making the order, receiving the parts and seeing those parts then assembled onto the finished machine. Before my work was very much concept design, layouts, detail design and then I never saw what was done. So actually seeing the hardware and seeing it working finishes the job.